Raccoons are really smart. They might even be smarter than cats and dogs. Scientists thought they were a unique model for the evolution of the human mind. So they were popular research animals. And then raccoons got canceled. But raccoon research has been on the rise, especially in the last five years or so. And as it turns out, we have plenty to learn from their brains. The reason scientists gave up on raccoons over a century ago. Well, it all goes back to this research paper from 1907, and they said something like, "All of the research participants escaped through the duct work." <laughs> they escaped their cages so often that researchers ended up using rodents instead. But modern technology is helping behavioral scientists study raccoons in new and creative ways. Neuroscientists have also figured out how to examine brains in more detail, making a strong case for raccoons. Take this trash bandit, for example. He's trying to figure out how to get those floating marshmallows out of the tube. He notices there are rocks on the floor, and rocks sink, raising the water level just enough to grab the treats. Experts think this shows that raccoons have some understanding of cause and effect, like us. Mice brains are pretty smooth, but human and raccoon brains have all these bulges and grooves. That allows more brain cells to be packed inside our skulls. More brain cells means more processing power, which usually means higher intelligence. The raccoons check more of the boxes for translating to human brains than the rodents do. A large part of both human and raccoon brains are devoted to sensing the world with our hands. They've got a lot of control and sensitivity with those hands. That's what helps them climb trees and get into our trash so easily. In experiments similar to this one. Raccoons had to figure out how to open a box. Each time they got it, the researchers changed the lock. Kelly's team found that the raccoons that were the best at opening boxes had more brain cells in an area that's critical for learning and memory, called the hippocampus. More specifically, they had a higher amount of support cells called glia, which provide nutrients and protect other brain cells against inflammation. There are correlations with that being associated with more adaptive and effective cognition. Fun fact: One study found that this guy also had more glial cells in his brain. I mean, maybe we had little Einstein raccoons. Basically, the very things that make raccoons so hard to control and manage in a lab are the biggest reasons why they're so critical to study. Like humans, they're very adaptable, meaning they can switch up their strategies when one stops working. That's known as cognitive flexibility. Okay, so in this experiment, scientists are using cutting-edge electronic tagging and night vision technology to study raccoons in the wild. They built a box with 12 latch doors, and behind each door there was a treat. They were surprised to find that the raccoons were able to come up with different ways of opening the doors, which really speaks to you know both flexibility and individuality in their problem solving. In this test, raccoons had to learn which button dispensed food. And then adjust when that button stopped working. The aggressive raccoons struggled, but the calmer ones did much better. According to Lauren, it's that cognitive flexibility that allows the raccoons to adapt and thrive in unpredictable environments like cities. It's also relevant for how we deal with raccoons, whether they're climbing on our buildings or trying to get into our stuff. There's just this big million-dollar question out there that. Our city is making animals smarter. Are we somehow selecting for or shaping the types of cognitive abilities that we think make animals so successful in urban environments? What are you guys doing? Unfortunately, Lauren doesn't have a definitive answer yet. So, what's next for raccoons in neuroscience? Kelly wants to build an atlas of raccoon brains, like the ones that exist for rodents and humans. That would help neuroscientists come up with new and better experiments comparing raccoon brains to ours. 